Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this awesome water slide in Minecraft. If you enjoy this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and click the little bell next to the subscription button. And if you want to see more of these water slides on the channel, leave a suggestion below. Leave a comment. Let me know that that's what you want to see if you would like to see more of these. Without any further ado, let's get started. Now, before we start building, ladies and gentlemen, here are all of the materials that we are going to be using. Please make sure that you have all of those materials and enough of them as well. The amount of space that this mega water slide requires is a 99 by 30 block area. This encompasses absolutely everything that you will have seen at the start of the video, including the border around the build. So please just make sure that you've got enough room. You can build this grid in your world if you like, although it may take you some time. And that's it. Pause the video if you have to. Do make sure that you have all of those things gathered. Make sure you've got enough room to build this. Even build the grid if you feel like it. Once you are ready, we can begin. So, step one, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to come all the way to the front right-hand corner of my grid. And then I'm going to count left of this corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm then going to count inwards by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You see, this way, if you have made the grid, we're both starting in the exact same position inside of the grid. So that's why we do these things. Okay, I'm going to destroy this block that I highlighted. And I'm going to replace it with a green concrete. Going left towards where the back of the water slide is going to be. This is the front we're going to build towards the back. We are going to dig an additional six blocks in the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I just want you to replace all of those with green concrete. Now, up left diagonally from this sixth block, I'm going to place another green concrete, which is just on the ground. Go left of this by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place another green concrete up left diagonally, and go left of it by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What I then want you to do is place another up left diagonal green concrete, and go left of it by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Place another up left diagonal green concrete and go up on top of this block by 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We are then going to go left by 2. 1, 2. And we are going to place an up left diagonal green concrete. We're going to go left by two, one, two, and place an up left diagonal green concrete. Go left by two, one, two, and place an up left diagonal green concrete. Go left by ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then place an up left diagonal green concrete. We are then going to go up by 14. That is up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We are then going to go left by 15. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Perfect. What I then want you to do is take a sideways look at this thing. So, the end result should look very much like this. This is the base of the water slide. This is the part that the water is going to flow down and, consequently, us. So, the first thing that I'm going to do now that I have done this is I'm going to add another layer of green concrete 
onto the opposite side of all of the green concrete that we've just placed. You see, the water slide tube is pretty much a 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 tube. That's pretty much the whole deal. So that is why we are doubling up on this. It's more of kind of like a square than a circle, but it kind of looks like a circle because Minecraft. So once you have added another layer of green concrete, once you have fortified the slide, which is fun to say, we are now going to add walls to the slide. So as easy as it can be, we are going to place lime concrete above and outside the sides of the slide which is really fun to say as well actually so if you can imagine it you just want to place just one layer we'll start with one one layer of lime concrete up and above the base of the slide it just follows along nicely like this in most cases, you do not want the line to connect together in the corners. You want it to kind of be floating. You'll see what I mean as we complete this part. There are some places where this is unavoidable. Mainly, where you have the drops in the slide. But the straight parts, you're going to want to mainly not have it connect together. You want to do the same on the opposite side of the slide. Again, so much fun to say. So, we want to have this on both sides of the slide. And this slide is somewhat customizable. You see, there are parts of this slide that you can choose to replace with glass, which is cool. There's parts of this slide that you can choose to have open. There's parts of this slide that you can choose to have closed. I'm going to give you guys the options, and I'll show you how to build all of those options. We'll start off with a pretty boring plain slide, and we will eventually make our very own customized version of the water slide. So, so far, that is what we have. And in essence, that is a slide that would work, by the way. That, that slide right there, you could put water on it, and you'd flow all the way down, and you would actually have, like, it's a pretty cool slide, it's not too bad. But we are going to now reinforce the slide. This is how it's done. So, it's a little bit tricky how you do this, but in essence, the way that you reinforce the slide is you just add another layer of lime concrete on top of the layer of lime concrete that you have made. So, you're simply doubling up, and it's not as easy as it might look now, because you're going to find that in certain parts of this, you're going to have to add a little bit more than you might have thought. But there you can see the slide is a little bit more fortified now, right? Let's do the same on the opposite side of the slide. Again, I, I just said that because it's fun. And there's certain parts of the slide that you are not going to want to probably have this you're, not, you're probably going to want to have some open parts of the slide, like especially at the end, you're not going to want to have a solid tube, a solid tunnel, but I always like to give you guys options when I make these things, because I like the idea that you guys can customise them, and you can make them your very own. But, that is what we will have so far, so you can see we've doubled up on all of those things, right? You know, that looks pretty decent. So, how would we go about now putting a top on the slide? Well, it's very, very simple. You simply add a row of two green concrete above the top of the slide, like this. So you want to have a row of green concrete that just sits up and above the slide like this, right? So you can see that we are able to walk in the slide. But this doesn't exactly work in all parts of the slide. You see, if you just add the green concrete on top willy-nilly without thinking about it, like this, you will notice that as you move down the slide, you'll get trapped inside. So, whenever there is a drop in the slide like this one, you're going to want to add a little bit more lime concrete just on the corners like this. And then you're going to want to just like fill the top of it in, just like that. That's pretty much all there is to it, ladies and gentlemen. So now, as you're going down the slide, you'll be able to see that you will not hit your head. So this is very, very important for every time you have a drop. So we have a drop here, for instance. You can see there'll be a drop there. If you just add a little bit of extra lime, 
and then you put a roof on it, as you might imagine, then you will not have that drop. And if, if you're kind of worried about, oh, I'm, I'm going to mess it up, just go inside and see if it works. And it does. That's perfect. It really is just a matter of making sure you don't bump your head. I don't think I've done it for this part, so we're going to add the green there. And we're going to add the dark green on top. So coming up to here and here. So you can see how the slide functions now. You can see we've reinforced it. And it even looks a little bit better almost reinforced. We do the same thing. Well, all we have to do really is a very, very simple thing to do the drops in the slide, all you do is add the two rows of green. You won't have any conflict. Even when you get up to the top, you can literally just place the green and you can extend it forwards like this. I would recommend in the bends in the slide like this, you knock out the corner blocks like that because I think it looks a little bit better than just the solid, solid tube. But you will notice that here, for instance, like we're going to have this problem again. Like if you just place the green here, you're not going to be able to get through. So. In all of these drops, and there's what, is there three drops here? You're going to want to add lime here, here because there's a drop here, and here because there's a drop here. And then you won't have any issues. So we're adding this after the fact. I figured that it'd be easier to to like add in the lime at this part than it would be any other part, because in some parts it won't even matter. You'll see what I mean when we eventually reach the tippity top of the slide. But we are going to have something that so far looks like this and we just have to come all the way up to the top here and we are very nearly reaching the end of the slide at this point so we can just extend the green up and above and over and we will have a nice functioning water slide so I'm just going to destroy those and you will see that there we go that is the tube that is the basic premise of the water slide that's how i actually started out building this is as easy as that it really is okay so now that we have done that how can we make it more interesting well let me give you guys a couple of suggestions so first of all you can open up the slide in certain parts so like the end for instance i actually prefer it to be a bit open so on the end you might choose the these are all choices you might choose to knock the top of the slide off so as you're sliding down you might want to see where you're going to be coming out of the water slide and you're going to want to make that decision for yourself. Like, how much of the end of the water slide are you going to want to have exposed? Well, in my particular case, I'm going to want to have pretty much all of it exposed. All the way towards the end. Like, after that big drop that we have, the second big drop in the slide, I'm going to want to have most of the end exposed. And I quite like what we've got going on here, but I would prefer it if perhaps, like, we had, like, if... if we opened up the slide a little bit a, a little bit further down the slide so like here maybe like one two three here maybe maybe we start opening up the slide about there right so this is where i want to actually be able to see out of like here that looks pretty good yeah that that doesn't look too bad that looks that looks pretty decent and then maybe just on the end here what you can do to make it look a bit more interesting is if you place a bit of lime on the end then that makes the tunnel look a little bit more interesting rather than just kind of like cutting off with a green block but you can see what i mean these are all choices like do you think that that looks better do you think that that looks worse that's completely up to you it's a subjective opinion so feel free to open up the slide in certain places or don't if you don't want it Another cool thing that you can do, and I like doing this where the drops are, I like to open up the sides of the slide like this, and I like to place glass inside instead. Now the reason that I like this is because not only does it create a bit of contrast in the slide, not only does it make it look a little bit more interesting, but if you have friends, unlike me, then you'll be able to see people like actually going down the slide and you'll be able to see them on the fall of the slide, which is kind of cool. And you'll even be able to see the water flowing down it too, which is quite cool as well. So this is what I would recommend doing on the drops of the slide, but you absolutely don't have to. But you see, it kind of makes it look a little bit more cool and sort of like more modern as well. 
And I'll tell you what, we'll do the same thing to this drop too. So this drop, only on the drop, I'm, I'm not really that interested in like the top two blocks and the bottom two blocks. I only really interested in the drop to be honest. Uh, and I, I, I kind of think it looks weird if you add a glass to the very bottom for some reason. I don't know why, it kind of gives a, little, a nice little bit of mystery. Like, uh, if, if the glass is just here, then the person will kind of like just disappear through the actual tube of the slide and then you won't be able to see them hit the bottom. And then you'll kind of just wait for a message as to whether or not they've survived the slide. If you guys are uh, getting what I'm talking about, but it's kind of cool. Like, I kind of just like the middle bit exposed. And now that we have done that, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm also going to do is I, I noticed that we've got like this part of the slide here. We've got a flat part of the slide. So I'm going to open this up a little bit. So again, you can feel free to choose to do this or or don't is, is completely up to you. But this part of the slide, I think it'd be kind of cool to just kind of like open it up a little bit. So this part. And then I'm just going to change the greens to a lime greens just to make it look a little bit nicer. And then that way you'll be able to, once again, you'll be able to see people like flowing down the slide. So that's why I sometimes like to open up these parts because I think it looks a little bit more interesting. And then when it gets up to the larger part of the slide here, all the way up here, I am going to want to have a similar sort of deal. So I don't know exactly where I want to have the slide open up to. I'm, I'm maybe like the first 10 or so blocks, maybe like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, maybe on the 11, something like that. I, I kind of want the first part of the slide open as you would actually enter the slide and then it closes and then you go down. And I'm going to have a similar sort of deal as, uh, as that. So again, feel free to add those changes. Feel free to, to not add those changes. You do what you like. It's your slide after all. But that's the sort of thing that we've got going on here, and that's a pretty cool water slide, and that's that will actually function nicely, like you just flow the water down there and it works. However, we are missing a few key components. Number one, we're missing the water, but we'll take care of that later. We need a pool to fall down into at the end of the water slide, but we also need to climb up to the water slide. So how do we do this? Well, we come all the way up to the top of the water slide and we grab our oak planks. We are going to place oak planks underneath the two ends of the water slide right here. The oak planks are going to connect all the way down to the ground. Now this is a painstaking process to do on bedrock, as building down on bedrock is unfun, to say the very least. Frustrating, unfun. Two words that I would use, because you cannot just hold that trigger down and go mental, you have to literally place every single block calculatingly, unlike what you can do building up. I've, dis I, I, I've described my painful process very many times, but uh, my pain with the process very many times, but hey, you know, what can you do? Building up so smooth, building down not so much. So now we have two oak wood plank rows, which is really good. So these are going to function in a couple of different ways. Number one, this is going to look as though it provides support for the water slide, which we both know it doesn't need. It's very, very self-dependent. What we are now going to do, though, is we are going to build actual supports for the slide, like coming all the way down and underneath all of the hanging parts of the water slide. But this will also serve as a starting point for the stairs that we are going to be building later. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, so now that we have those two large supporting rows of oak wood planks, we want to add some more coming along the water slide. So here is where I would recommend adding some of these rows. So we're going to follow the slide along starting from the top. Like, a good place to start is somewhere along this row of green concrete. I'd recommend placing an oak plank underneath where the tube begins, underneath this long stretch. As we move down the slide, I'd recommend also doing a similar sort of thing down here. So like where the end of the slide is, where this tube is, add an oak plank coming down. These are positions for supporting parts of the structure. We are also going to do a similar thing like coming down, except this time you can see where we have like a free, free, and free. In the middle pair of free of green concretes, I'm going to place an oak plank on the side there. I'm going to move down, and I kind of want a similar thing down here too. So like where we have the end of the tube, I'm going to place an oak plank. And then lastly, where we have this 
part of the slide here as well. I'm going to find the middle, which is what? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four would be the middle. So you can see here, and we've not extended them down yet, but these are going to be the supports of the slide. Whether or not you want to adjust those for yourself, make them look a little bit better, a little bit more attuned to you. The idea of adding these is going to make it look as though that we have a proper supported water slide. As you guys know, Minecraft does not obey the laws of physics which is perfectly fine by me. This slide is a strong, independent water slide, and it doesn't need anybody to hold it up. It holds itself up. However, we are going to add the oak planks so just, just to make it look a little bit more traditional. So we're going to do this everywhere that we have marked them out. And later on, we're going to add what I can only call like crisscross sections using the spruce uh, the spruce slams. I blanked on that word for a second. Whoops. But uh, yeah, we're going to add all of these and then we'll add some like spruce slabs that will kind of look like further support. And yeah, we're, go we're just going to see if this looks good basically before we continue on because we might even find that we want to adjust things so it's a little bit more balanced although it really doesn't matter too much because the water slide is like a weird number anyway like it doesn't have to be completely even and perfect where all of these supports are it really isn't the main focus of the build it really is just a, a nice little addition so why don't we take a look that my friends doesn't actually look too bad does it that looks perfectly all right. That doesn't look too bad at all. Perfect. So, now that we have done that, we're going to add the same thing just on the opposite side of the slide. So, in the same position, so it would be here, on the same positions that you placed... Whoops. There we go. So, on the same positions, but on the opposite side of the slide, you're going to want to do the exact same thing. I'm using the advantage that I know where to place these to build upwards rather than down. As you can see, it is far, 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 far faster. So I'm quite happy about that. But this is actually quite an important part of the slide, and you'll see later on that it plays a key feature to it. So yeah, that's that's actually not looking too bad whatsoever, is it? That that looks all right. So now that we've done that, I think that the next part of this is going to be to do the walkway so that we can focus on all of the rest of the support for the slide. So we're going to come all the way up to the very tippity top of the build. We want to come to where the slide begins, the origin story for the water slide. So I am going to start this off by placing a row of six spruce wood slabs moving backwards here from this upper oak wood plank so it's going to be a row of six moving back one two three four five six place an oak wood plank on the end and then move across i want you to place two spruce wood slabs moving across one two place an oak wood plank and then six more oak uh, spruce wood slabs moving across one two three four five six then place an oak wood plank and then extend the spruce wood slabs forwards by six one two three four five six place an oak wood plank and then connect the water slide together using a row of spruce wood slabs like that and what we're going to do here is we are going to place rows of oak wood planks just to fill the top of the slide in. So this is going to, essentially, this is a platform that we have just built like this. And we're going to extend up every single oak wood plank that we have here. And you can even choose to, like, destroy the top of the water slide if you like, and then just place oak woods there instead. It's kind of up to you, it doesn't really matter too much. And then we are going to place some oak fence in between. So this is kind of like the top of the water slide, like this. Now what we have to do is we have to extend all of those oak wood planks down to the ground, painstakingly. All of the corner ones, we don't have to extend down the actual platform itself because that would be well, nonsensical. We don't really have to do that whatsoever, but we do have to extend down the corners because this is, you know, this is going to give us all of the stairs and stuff that we are going to want to do. But I would prefer it if 
we build it in a much more clever way. So, for instance, like, when this front corner oakwood plank hits the ground here, in the ground, I'm going to place six oak fence going backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to place an oakwood plank on the ground. Coming across the back of the build, six more fence. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oakwood plank. Two fence. Oakwood plank. And then a row of oak fence moving forwards. I'm going to place them here too. And even here, just kind of like box the area in. And what I'm going to do is extend every single one of these oak planks upwards because as I have pointed out multiple times now, it's much easier to build up than down depending on you, the edition of Minecraft that you're playing. But if it's, if it's Bedrock, which I imagine a lot of you guys are playing Bedrock, then you're going to want to do, do it this way probably. Or not. It's up to you. Anyway, as long as you end up with this, you're quite good. So now that we have achieved this, what we have to do is make more platforms. And we're going to mark them out for where every single platform is going to be. So this doesn't actually matter too much. As long as it's even and as long as it reaches the ground, it doesn't matter that much. So where we have these spruce wood slabs here at the top of the build, we are going to mark out this oak wood plank and we're going to move down. We're going to go down by one, two, three, four, five here. And then we're going to place a spruce wood slab, just like that, if that makes sense. And we're going to do that again. So coming down from this block, we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then this would be five. And we're going to mark it out with a spruce wood slab. And we're going to keep going down. So like a one, two, three, four, five slab. And then one, two, three, four, five slab. And then one, two, three, four, five slab. And then one, two, three, four, five slab. So something like that will actually work out just fine. And you can see they're all spaced out. I think they're all spaced out evenly. I don't know if I've made a mistake in there or not somewhere. I kind of looks like it, but we're, we're going to now what we're going to do, and again, it, it doesn't matter that much if uh, if there was a mistake or so. You know, as long as we can actually get up and down this thing, that's the main deal. So, the idea between all of these spruce wood slabs is that they run through the entire framework of the build. And what I mean by that is they connect to all of the oak wood planks. All of them. So, for, I'll, I'll give you a for instance. Like, I've, I've connected all of these together now, right? But the idea of this is that the spruce wood slabs will run and connect through to the parts of the oak wood planks that hold the slide together. And it will like extend from here and it will connect to these parts and they'll connect to each other. So it's almost like a big spider's web of spruce wood slabs. It's quite a time consuming thing to do, so much so that I'm even considering speeding this part of the video up because it will take quite a long time to build. But you guys can see the idea here. It just wants to connect all the way around like this. And you've got to do it quite a few times, like so. So that is exactly what we've got to do. We've got to take all of these spruce wood slabs here. And they've got to go all the way around the frame of the stairs area, which is what we're working on now. They'll go all the way around and they'll it will just connect in a rectangle. However, it wants to connect all the way to the front here where the slide is. And it actually wants to go as far as the slide will go, if that makes sense. I I'll show you with the bottom part of the slides because that will that'll give you guys a better idea as well. So do make sure that it also connects together too in between the two like... Uh, the support structures there, but like as you get further down the slide like here for instance You'll notice that like it will connect together all the way around like this, which is fine. Hang on boop So here it will connect all the way around just like it does absolutely everywhere else for this part but as you connect to the slide itself you'll notice that you can go further and further and further like that which is fine it goes further and further and further and it will connect to the slide and you do want to connect it to the slide and you want to connect it to each other as well. So that is exactly what I'm going to spend my time doing now guys. I am just going to now speed this part up because this is quite a lengthy part of the tutorial that I don't want to 
uh, take up time, you take up your time with. But I'm going to do all of this, and uh, I hope that you guys manage to do it as well. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, quite a lengthy process indeed, but well worth doing. As you can see now, it just looks a lot more supported. So, I did speed that up, so I imagine you guys might still be working on that. Feel free to pause the video if you have to. Do make sure that that part is done for you. So, once you have done that, the next thing that we are going to do is quite a painstaking process as well. And will probably also be sped up. So... For this, I'm going to fill in two part two platforms. Every single time you have the spruce wood slabs on the edge of the platform, you want to fill in the middle of the slabs using your oak wood planks. Like this. So you can see at the top, down here, you want to fill it in with uh, oak wood planks. And we're also going to run oak fence all the way around on top of these spruce wood slabs. We're going to have oak fence around on top like this. This is how these things work. And I'm going to do the same just to the one underneath as well. Because I want to show you uh, what I'm going to be doing a few times. But it's very repeatable. That's, that's the entire point. Like it's going to be a very repeatable thing that we're going to be doing here. So, now that we've done that, now that we've filled it in using oak wood planks, we're going to be placing spruce or oak fence around on top of the spruce slabs, like this. So now, you can see, we have three platforms, one, two, and three coming down. So, we want to be able to move down from those platforms, don't we? It's easy to do. We need spruce stairs and more than likely some oak wood planks. Okay, so the stairs start, and this is how I build stairs for every platform, right? This is how it's going to work for every single part, so this is why it's repeatable. In the back corner of the support structure here, I am going to leave a gap of two from the edge, and then I'm going to destroy these two oak planks and place in some spruce wood stairs. And I'm going to destroy one, two, three rows in front of these and i'm going to place these spruce wood stairs coming downwards like this exactly how you might imagine spruce wood stairs coming down and hitting the ground like this and you should find that you connect to the platform perfectly like so if you like you can even spend your time adding upside down stairs underneath these stairs you might find that you like this look better i personally am not that bothered so, in destroying the three rows in front, you'll be able to see that you can just walk down perfectly onto this platform, which is good. So you can see how that works, right? And then all you want to do now is the same thing, just starting from a different point in the platform. So now that we have a row of stairs coming down this way, I want a row of stairs coming down this way. So we're going to start from this corner of the platform, we're going to leave a gap of two, Destroy, destroy, place those stairs in there, and destroy one, two, three rows in front. And then we should be able to place our stairs, we won't bang our heads on anywhere, and everything will be fine and dandy. So, we will have, and by the way, it will also line up nicely um, with the opposite side of the platform, like you'll have two blocks at the bottom to walk around on so it works out really well it lines up really nicely and i'm going to uh, again place the upside down stairs like this 
and that's great. So you can see how that works and it's a nice pleasing way to add those stairs in. The only problem is we've got so many of the things to add. <laughs> we've got so many stairs to add. So that's why I didn't really want to include this as part of the tutorial because we're going to have to add, fill in every platform and we're going to have to add stairs to every single platform as well. So ladies and gentlemen, you guys know how this is done. We've got to fill in every platform. We've got to add in the stairs. I think that you guys will be able to do this no problem. Let's get started. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you are able to repeat those steps that I showed you in filling in every single platform, adding some fence around it, and then adding the opposite facing stairs going all the way down, you will find that you have a really pleasing to look at way to climb up to the top of your water slide, which, I, again, I think that that looks really good, and I hope that you guys do as well. Now, here's the deal. You guys are probably still working on that, I imagine. It takes quite a long time to do. Pause the video if you have to. Do make sure that you have all of those supports added in. Make sure that you have all of the stairs. Make sure it works, if you like. Once you have completed that, we can move on to the next part of the slide. So, the next part of the water slide involves us making the pool at the end of the water slide. It's a very, very important thing. So, all the way at the end of the pool of the water slide, I am going to want to start off by placing a little bit of quartz in the ground. So I'm going to dig next to the end of the water slide and I'm going to dig both ways, same way. I'm going to dig probably about five blocks, like one, two, three, four, five, something like that. Maybe I might even make it six. So six on both sides, like one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we'll make it seven. So seven blocks on both sides like this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's perfect. So it'll be nice and even on both sides. So seven blocks of that way, seven blocks of that way. And we can just count that out again, make sure that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place some quartz in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. I'm going to dig. 12 rows in front of both of those ends. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think I've got that right. So I'm just going to dig over to this side and I'm going to connect it. If you're unsure as to whether or not you've actually dug that row right, repeat it. Just go over to the opposite side and repeat it. Fill it all in with quartz block anyway. That's the more important thing. We're going to dig out the center of the slide or dig out the center of the pool, I should say. So we'll actually have to dig two rows down. The reason that we have to dig two rows down is because we don't want to just have a dirt base for our water slide. Oh, no, no, no. We want to have a nice, colorful base. So whatever you want to fill the bottom of the pool in is up to you. But I'm, I'm just going to use quartz because it's nice and easy. But feel free to say use birch planks, maybe even use a bit of glass or something crazy like that. Use some sort of mixture. You could even use terracotta. It doesn't matter too much. There we go. So this is where the water's going to be around the quartz block. So that's why we have to dig another row. And then we can fill it in using the quartz block. Again, it'll, it'll look for a 
for a uh, lack of a better word, it will look a bit scruffy if we just have the dirt in there. But it kind of depends on how much time and effort you want to apply to your water slide. We've already applied quite a bit of time to the slide. I, feel free to apply a little bit more. That's <laughs> that, that, that's completely up to you, though. So we're just going to dig this out and place the quartz in here. And then once we've done that, we, we've actually, like, done the entire slide, pretty much. Like, once we fill this pool up, we'll have completed all of the necessary parts of this tutorial. The only, the only thing, actually, that I will want to add before we actually run some water through the water slide, because that's, that's the last thing that we're going to do, just to kind of, like, you know, cement this as, like, a, ah, we finished. It's my favorite thing to do. Uh, we're also going to add some quartz slab, by the way, on top of the, those quartz blocks. Yeah, but the last thing that we will be doing once we've completely finished this pool is we're just going to make a walkway. We're going to make a nice little walkway that will lead us all the way from uh, the end of the slide there, and it's, ju it's just going to take us all the way to the side. It's going to keep things nice and separate. But there we go. We have uh, made a nice pool, and all we're going to do is fill it with water. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's all we have to do here. Fill, this, uh, fill the pool in with water. And then that will be the second to last thing that we've, we've really just got to do. The mandatory things, I would call it, for the water slide. So, as you can see, we've got the slide. We can, we can get up the slide. We have the slide and we have the pool. I just want to make a separation between the walkway of the water slide. Like, I, I, I kind of want to make a nice big pathway that makes it so that you can't walk underneath the slide and stuff. So, I'm just going to dig all the way from the edge of that walkway here, all the way to here. I'm going to make these, uh, this end block here, I'm going to make it a spruce wood one. And I'm going to place two oak wood planks in between, and you'll see why I'm doing this. I'm going to place spruce wood slabs coming all the way up inside of this gap, like so. Spruce wood planks would work a lot better, but hey, what, what can you do? Oh no, I've got to manually place them now. But uh, yeah, I want to have a walkway that leads, the, the, just to keep the slide separate. Like, I'd, as I said, I don't want people walking underneath the slide and stuff. So I'm going to make an entire area where people can just kind of like walk into the slide, but they can also avoid it as well. And that means digging a trench here as well, next to the pool, and filling it with spruce wood, and placing some oak fence. That also means digging a trench underneath the water slide, and connecting all of these supports together. We're going to be filling the trench in using a spruce wood block. And then we're going to place fence on top of it. This is something that I'm going to speed up at a later date, but... I want to completely... Dig all of this out, place fence on it, and then that way everything will be kept nice and separate and uh, people won't be able to muck about the lower part of the slide. We can place a bit of fence on here as well, that'll be fine. And we're also, you guys are going to see this in a second, I know that I missed a fence there by the way, just in case you're like screaming internally like I am. <laughs> Mr. Fence right there. But you can see how it looks a lot neater like this. It squares up the slide a lot. Like, it's not just like a weird thing that I've got. Like, it, it, it just looks a little bit better. But the objective is also, I'm going to want to dig out all of this area here, all of the grass, and I'm going to want to replace it using oak planks. This is going to be a long process because it's a large area to do. So, again, what I'm going to have to do here is I'm just going to have to speed this part up. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to dig out all that grass. I'm going to replace it with oak planks. I'm going to dig out the area underneath the slide on the opposite side, and I'm just going to apply a fence underneath all of the supporting structures as well, just exactly how I did on the opposite. That's what I'm going to have to do, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, that's 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 what I should do, and that is what I'm going to do. So yeah, that's that that's it.
There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect. So, we have now added a nice base all the way around the water slide. So, that is perfect. This is what I would say the bare minimum that you need. So, we've got a nice entrance. It's nice sectioned off. You've got a huge walkway. You can get all the way up to the top of the water slide. You have the water slide itself and you have the pool at the bottom. So, all we would have to do from this point onwards is, first of all, I'm going to add two spruce wood stairs all the way up at the top of the slide, just to stop any splash back from water, so you can climb in and you can jump down. I'm going to place water coming all the way towards the end of the water slide. Preferably, we want to just make it flow enough so that it will take us into the slide. So you don't have to make it still, but you'll have to walk some of the water slide or swim some of the water slide. But you'll find that at a certain point, the current will actually take you and drop you down. Boom. Boom. Perfect. And then when you get down to the bottom here, again, you put, you're going to have to add a little bit of water. But the goal is to add just enough to carry us to the next part. So that's perfect. So now you can see we're flowing all the way down. And it will carry us all the way down. It might be a little bit of a side process. But hey, you know, you're riding a water slide. You've got time. So we drop all the way down. It's such a fun slide. And you add just, again, just enough water. You don't want it to go it, uh, back on itself either. That's an important thing. So add it starting from the base and have it flow forward. And then it takes you to this part. And you can add a bit of water here. You can see that it flows. And then that goes as far down as where, as far down as here. And that perfect, perfect. So now you can see that we have water flowing all the way down. That is fantastic. And we know that it works. So if we come all the way back up to the top, we don't need the water on us anymore. We can swim to this part. And then we can let the current just take us where we have to go. It, it, it will turn out that when you get to a... F oh. Oh, 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 oh. Perfect. I'm glad that I looked into this. Uh, that's actually pushing back on itself. Which is why that didn't work very well. So we put the water here. And then we, the, the current actually takes you, like, if you put the water there, you want to make sure that the water isn't pushing you backwards when you get down to the bottom of the slide. That's important, but it's a nice slow little slide. The fun parts are definitely the build-ups to here, and then we go, Wah! perfect. But you just have to go a little bit forwards, and then the current will actually take you to the next part of the slide. That is fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. The water slide works perfectly. It looks awesome. And there's only one thing that I'm going to recommend that you would do. So, if you like, you can put a border around your water slide. And this is how I figured out the border initially. I took each one of the four outward corners of the slide... So, like the edge of the pool here, and I dug out one, two, three, four, five blocks, right? And I did the same with the opposite corner of the slide. One, two, three, four, five, right? So, we're, we're figuring out where we are placing our rows of, uh, of material around the slide. So, this back corner, one, two, three, four, five. And the goal is basically just to make sure that we have... Five rows exposed around the edge of our slide. So, I want to have five rows of walking space dug out around the entirety of the slide. No matter which way we go, like from here, one, two, three, four, five rows around the slide. The edge of the pool, one, two, three, four, five. The edge of the pool here, one, two, three, four, five. And you will find the same coming out the back as well. I want five rows dug out all the way around the slide. And all I'm going to do from this point onwards is I'm going to put a border around the water slide, which is made out of quartz slab. I'm going to put a border around all of those rows that I'm going to dig out. I'm going to fill in this area using birch planks because it contrasts so nicely against all of the other materials. And I'm also going to add some sunbeds around the water slide. Now, these are going to be dispersed evenly around the slide, and they're made in such a simple way. They're made using... Uh, Quartz stairs, some white wool, and some quartz slab. Now, the sunbeds themselves, it's a quartz stairs with two quartz slabs in front. You place uh, a, a, an umbrella one row away from the middle of the bed. It's two oak fence, two white wool on top, 
and then red wool all the way around the edge of the umbrella. Now you can use any color that you like. You can even mix and match and make it so that the umbrella has like white blocks in the corners and stuff just to make it look a little bit more interesting. But I'm going to be placing those all the way around the edge of the pool just to add an additional color around the edge of the water slide. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually going to cut this part out entirely and I'm just going to show you the end result of this. This is completely optional. Digging five rows all the way around the water slide. I'm going to add some quartz slabs all the way around all of the five rows to keep things separate. And I'm going to add some sunbeds and stuff to the edge of the pool. I'm going to show you what that looks like once it's all done and where you might want to place all of the sunbeds and stuff. But feel free to leave it at this point. The water slide is complete in itself. But hey, let's do it. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. You can see that adding a nice quartz slab border around your water slide with some birch planks inside, with a few sunbeds around the pool, can really accentuate your water slide. It really makes it stick out. It makes it a lot more appealing, and it just makes it look a little bit more awesome. So that is something that you can choose to do to your water slide. I don't feel as though it really needs any explanation because it's, it's a really simple thing to do. I'm sure that you guys will manage it no problem. And that's the end of the tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you have managed to make this and if you want to see more, liking the video is the best thing that you can do. Right next to subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. Very, very important indeed as well and not only that if you would like to see some more water slides on the channel i would be more than happy to oblige just leave a comment down below would you like to see some more things like this i'd be more than happy I'd, i wouldn't even mind making some theme water slides or just some more huge awesome water slides like this i have some more ideas for some different designs some bigger ones that i think that you guys will like very very much Thank you so much for watching everybody. This was so much fun to make. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good.